All right, so I am here with a popping off toys mystery box. They did a run of a thousand boxes for $9.99 a box. They had three grail options. The sad part is it's my own fault. I didn't read. They it was a thousand limited to a thousand mystery boxes. They had three main grails and they broke that up into 333, 333, and 334 which I kind of felt sucked because, and I didn't read that prior because if I would have, I probably would have skipped on these boxes to be 100% honest because in order to order from each batch at a chance of each grail, you'd have to pay shipping each time, which I think is kind of, you know, bogus. So I didn't want to do that. And I had already ordered from the first order when I realized that they were going to do three drops or three shipping dates. And there was one grail in each group of pops like I said if I would have known that definitely would have not have bought from the first group I would have waited for one of the additional groups I wouldn't have bought from each group because I wouldn't have wanted to pay shipping each time because that kills the $10 box so hopefully I at least got something good I did order four boxes we are battling some other channels because I will link everybody down below so let's go ahead and they're not numbered. So we're just going to grab our first box. I was happy at least that they kept them individually wrapped. I have bought multiple boxes from companies before where they will take them out of these boxes and put them all in one box together. I don't like that either. So, all right. So let's go ahead. We're going to cut this open. Okay. So, well, there's a little card stuck on the front. So we're going to have to pull it out. Oh, all right. So let's see who we got here. Mr. I don't know. Mr. Gruberson from Ghostbusters and their business card. I know they threw a few things in some of the boxes. I'm pretty sure I won't get that lucky. But here is Mr. Grub, Gruber, Gruberson. All right. So let me go ahead and scan this. If you look right here, the fold on it. I hate when Funko does that. This is not like box box damage. This is a Funko issue with the fold. So I don't like when the boxes are like that. But let's go ahead and let's check out Hobby DB and see where we link. This is more of a collab than a battle, I'm pretty sure, because we are pretty sure all of these pops are going to be dirt cheap based on the cost of the box. And this was an $8 pop, so didn't even make my money back on this one. So I'm pretty sure that if we're battling, I just lost. So there's an $8 pop. And the sad part is I know somebody already pulled the grail on this because people can't wait to post. I mean, literally was posted within a day or two of these shipping out. All right, so the next one we got. got another one of their business cards. And we got Dracula. So... I believe I've had this pop before. Again, I, I'm not even, I think my first pop might have been better than this pop. And this one is, oh, this one's $11. So I made a dollar. <laughs> but this is an $11 pop. All right, we got two more. I think part of my frustration with these is I've already know that the grail was pulled and the fact that the three grails were divided between three lots, which, like I said, they did say that. I just didn't pay attention to it. So that's why I need to read better and pay more attention. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Another card. All right, so we got the Robin Pride Pop, which I haven't had before. I'm not sure. I don't think this has any value really either. I think I could say they're all $10 and I'd be good. Oh, wow, this one is worth $13. Woohoo! This is the one I should have pulled if we were battling. All right, I got one more down here that I'm going to open. Another business card. Oh, we got Marge, Marjora, Majora. I don't know what that is. I think it's Marge Simpson, but it says Majora. I think these are supposed to be like, yeah, there's a whole theme on here. So, uh, let's go ahead and see what this pop is worth. $10. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, I didn't get anything I would keep, um, which always sucks when I don't get anything I would keep. And, you know, value has nothing to do with what I choose to keep. I keep what I like, but none of these will fit in my collection. But again, not too bad. I mean, we broke about even, I would say, with these four pops. They were all in pretty decent condition, minus the first one that I opened, which was the Ghostbuster one, has the box flaw. But other than that, 
not too bad. So let me know out of those four which were your favorite. And don't forget, while you're down below checking out the other links, smash that like button. And if you're not following me, give me a follow. But check out all the other channels that we collabed with this on. Obviously, it's not really a battle because once it was blown for us that somebody else had already won, we all agreed to do a battle. And at that point, we wanted to continue with it. Uh, will I give them another shot? Because this is my first time purchasing from them. I will, but I'll make sure that I read their descriptions better. Either way, I can't complain. I pretty much met value when across the board for the four that I got. But unfortunately, no keepers. But again, do me a favor. Check out all the other channels. And don't forget, you want something every month? I got a Patreon link down below. They get something every month. Let me know out of the four which one was your favorite. And don't forget... Stick around, check out those Patreons, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on rocking. <laughs>